Here we are. I haven't updated in weeks. Uh, I could have lots of excuses, but the truth is I've just been busy. Um, I had time to do it if I wanted to set aside the time, but uh, what I focused on is finishing up my degree. Uh, two more weeks and I'll be done with my bachelor's degree at the age of 46. Um, I've been focusing on that and getting the things in place so I can put a big push on my business next year, my small business. Um, a lot of things are going to have to happen for that and so I've kind of got them put in place so that they'll start in January. Uh, eating's been atrocious. Well, no, that's not true. I've had a couple days where eating was atrocious. The big thing is, is I'm not getting enough exercise and a lot of that's because after work I do school work or I mean I get exercise working on my house or working on uh, loading stuff in and out but I don't get exercise as in a workout. Um, I keep saying I'm going to start and you know start this week, start this week, start this week. I've just got to do it. Um, just like today I cooked to make sure that on uh, Monday I'll have lunch. Uh, Tuesday is my last normal class and then a week from Tuesday I do my final presentation for my bachelor's degree. Um, so I don't know what's going to happen in the next two weeks as far as schedule, eating, working out. All I can say is I'm going to do my best and then uh, go from there. There are a lot of exciting things that I will tell you about as they develop. Um, the big thing is I took a week in, uh, during my birthday and I uh, shot a very short film. It was about 50 seconds, but it was a fight scene. Um, it was for a contest and uh, I had a lot of fun with it. It was more to prove some theories and to have a deadline for something. Um, and as I go forward, I think that's what I'm going to do is for my, I have some short films I want to make and I'm just going to put deadlines on them. Uh, I plan to do three short films in 2005, uh, 2005, 2015, don't know where my head was. Um, so that's one every four months. So I should have one April. So we'll see the end of April. It'll be released by uh, May 1. Let's just say that. Because uh, that's pretty accurate. And then four months later we'll have the second one. Which will be what, August? Yeah. So September 1st. And then um, January 1st of 2016, I'll have, by then I'll have my third short film up. I already have the uh, screenplay for the first one. I have some screenplays to choose from for the second one. It'll depend on resources and people that I have available. Uh, I may see who else wants to collaborate on some of these projects depending on what we have an opportunity to do. So That's what's coming up. I think it's kind of exciting. Um, and we'll see what happens. Other than that, uh, I, I gotta be honest, I'm no closer to going on my date with Natalie Portman than I was a year ago. Um, I've made different choices than to pursue that as my main focus. Uh, and so th that's the result is I'm no closer. Um, I've done things like lift very heavy for a good amount of time, exercised a good amount of time, eaten healthy a good amount of time, but my consistency over the last year has been less than, than exceptional. Um, some of that school, a lot of that school, a lot of it is coming to terms with, I've had to come to terms with part of the reason I'm getting this degree. And it, what it comes down to is right now I turn wrenches for a living. Although it's not like a car mechanic, I work on machines. I fix nuclear imaging machines, I fix x-ray equipment, but I'm fixing machines. I don't want to do this the rest of my life. And uh, part of the reason I'm getting a management degree is I would like to move out of the hands-on at this point. 
Uh, I'm not saying I never want to do it again, but I think I'm ready for the next step in my career, which is management. Uh, some people never want that. I, I think that would be my next step, unless my side business were to take off suddenly and be able to fund everything that I normally do. So, uh, that's where I'm at. And it's taken me, what, a month or three weeks to sit down and say it. Uh, but a, a lot of my time is in my own head right now. A lot of my time I'm spending in my head thinking about all these things. And uh, I guess at 46, some people might call it a midlife crisis. I just call it uh, realizing that there's some things I want to do and want to pursue uh, other than what I'm doing now. And I'm okay with that. I'm not doing anything irresponsible. I'm not doing anything. I'm not going out and buying a, a hot car. I'm not going out and chasing, uh, you know, 18-year-old girls. I'm not doing a lot of the stuff that's considered that typical midlife crisis. I just think that when you hit somewhere between 35 and 50, you start to go, hmm, uh, I got to consider what I'm doing. And, and I got to be honest, um, before this happened, what I'm about to talk about, I was already on this path. I was already thinking about this. I've been thinking about it for, for months. Um, but just to bring it home, a man who's two years older than me, he was the first guy that I worked for in the medical field. Great guy named Rob great guy. He passed away at the age of 48 from spinal cancer. And there were a lot of things he did during his lifetime. He, he lived his life pretty well for a long time, but at the end there were some things that got left undone. Now I'm not saying by the time I die that there won't be things that are left undone. What I am saying is I'm going to do as much of the what I consider the important work, the important things, as I can before I go. At least that's a goal. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I will probably link my fight scene uh, in this uh, in this blog, blog uh, below this video and uh, yeah, that's it man. Hope you have a good week and I'll talk to you soon.